Numerical Computation, Chapter 3, Video 1. In this chapter, we'll study piecewise polynomial interpolation, namely splines. We begin the study by taking a look backwards at what we did in Chapter 2 and taking a look at some disadvantages of polynomial interpolation. We see a polynomial of degree n is n times differentiable, and very often we do not need such high smoothness. Furthermore, we see that and the arrow is rather large in certain intervals, especially the intervals near the end points. And also, there is no convergence result, which is disappointing. When the number n is large, the polynomial becomes heavy to compute, and we lose that advantages. So the suggestion we had at the end of last chapter was using piecewise polynomial interpolation, where we control over the subintervals. Common usage of piecewise polynomial interpolation lies in visualization of discrete data, and also in graphic design. The basic requirements for these piecewise polynomial are first, it has to interpolate the data, and second, we require a certain degree of smoothness. We will now specify what do we mean by that through a formal definition. So let's set up the problem. We are given a set of data, we list them on the table here x, y, and the x values are t0, t1, dot, dot, all the way to tn. The corresponding y values are y0, y1, yn. The notation is a little bit strange because the x values are denoted by ti, so we need to get used to that. We want to find a function, a spline function, which we call s as a function of x, that would interpolate the data points ti, yi, for all the i's. Some terminology is in place. So these t's, which is a set of sorted, uh, ordered numbers, t0, strictly less than t1, strictly less than t2, and so on, these are called knots. The spline function, s of x, consists of piecewise polynomials, where on each interval from ti to ti plus 1, we denote a polynomial si. So writing it out, so on the first interval with index 0, I'll get s0, and then the second interval with index 1, I get s1, and so on and so forth, and where the last interval, I get s of n minus 1. So we see that the spline function is piecewise defined and where each si's are polynomials, which will satisfy further conditions that we'll specify. Here is a formal definition for a spline of degree k, where k is a positive integer. So s of x is called a spline of degree k if the followings are satisfied. So first of all, each of the piecewise function si shall be a polynomial of degree less than or equal to k. And second, there are some continuity assumption and smoothness assumptions. So if it's a degree k, and then we require the overall function to be k minus 1 times continuously differentiable. So what does it mean is that if you differentiate the s, k minus 1 times, you always get a continuous function. So this means for i equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, and k1, we have the following. First of all, the function has to be continuous. So at ti, approaching from the left and approaching from the right, s has the same value. And furthermore, the derivative, first derivative approaching ti from the left and approaching ti from the right also equal to each other, so it's a continuous function. 
One can keep going on until you reach the k minus one derivative, and the value approaching ti from the left will equal to the value approaching ti from the right, so that this is a continuous function. And now don't be worried that there are so many um, conditions to be satisfied. I want to tell you, normally the degree for my spline in practice is a rather small number. Remember, the reason we go to spline is exactly to avoid dealing with polynomials of high degree. So the commonly used ones are um, linear spline, the first order spline, and which is the simplest one as well, and the quadratic spline, so piecewise qu quadratic polynomial, and this by some reason is less popular, which we will see. And finally, cubic spline with piecewise cubic polynomial, and that is the most popular one, and we will explain later why. So um, make sure you have a firm grasp of the definition for the splines of degree k.